Hello, you. Who are you? Your figs are clean. Your scrub cap is impeccably placed. Your eyes are bloodshot, yet you continue to hold your head high. A feat in and of itself, as that head holds your tremendous brain, which you use to operate on other brains. You don't have to tell anybody you're better than them. They already know that you are. But how did you become this? Was it the 120 plus hour weeks for seven years? Was it all the hours you poured into your publications on neuroglemomyosarcoblastomas? Was it your love for classical music? Whatever it is, I have to know. I have to have you. How did I get here? In these scrubs? This mask? Going on eight hours voluntarily in this OR while my friends head to the club? I've been standing against this wall as the bodies of two fellows, three residents, and an attending obscure the patient. The attending looks back at me and asks what an arachnoid granulation does. I cannot answer. I'm starting to think you may not be the one. Wait, how did I miss you? How did I not see you? Maybe it's that I've been stuck inside, cramming for step. You're a vision to behold. The perfect blend of procedures and clinic. I see a future with you. I'll study any amount of time, do anything for you. I am struggling to understand you. How does a spaghetti noodle allow me to see Cupping, nicking, flames. How do you see it? How do you use this thing? Maybe I should have noticed it earlier, but eyeballs gross me out. Sometimes a change in perspective is really what you need. Here I am in the hospital and I see you. How did I ever miss you? You stand as the beating heart of the hospital. No matter where you go, everyone respects you. You are so brave, you will literally cath anything with or without a pulse. Where others see weird squiggly lines, you find meaning. Why does everybody have heart failure? Why are you always ordering echoes? I don't think I've ever seen you use a stethoscope. The endless fighting with nephrology. And no, I don't want another lecture on how to manage AFib. I still don't know the difference between Eliquis and Xeralto, and at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. I never noticed you before, because you were always behind a drape. When I took a peek, I saw you just sitting there literally actually sitting there in a chair with padding browsing reddit in the stock market on your phone the only time you moved is to go on a lunch break midway through the case i have never seen someone so table up content when the day was done you packed up and went home there were no notes there were no notes. You see your partner. You have hobbies. Your house plants are thriving. Yes, I finally found what I need. You. Dearborn VA, DMC, Ford, St. John. Long ago, the four clinical sites coexisted tenuously. Then, everything changed when Henry Ford and MSU attacked. 
Only the dean, master of all four clinical sites, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Two hours passed, and my outlook notified me of a new dean by the name of Dr. Whale Sacker. And although his microscopy skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he can make Wayne a top 25 institution. But I believe Dean Sacker can save us all from MSU. It's not the way I thought things were going to go. I was going to graduate medical school and go to residency at like DMC. I know I didn't do it. It is a shocking scene for Wayne State medical students today. An unknown individual has been stealing food from the school refrigerators. I'll never understand what's so amusing about depriving a student of their hard made lunch. Everyone thinks I did it. Everyone. Kenan definitely did it. Of course he did it. He's like a known scavenger. Another meeting, another Lapita. Another disgusting act has been committed at Wayne State University School of Medicine. I didn't do it, Dad. I'm Lucas Werner, and I believe there are legitimate reasons for Kenan's innocence. PBNG, he needs me. It's just one piece of the puzzle. This is going to take way more than whoever's selling baby Yamaha pianos to crack this case. There's just no way. He's got to be the stupidest kid I've ever met. He's trying to convince you of some sort of conspiracy. There just isn't one. Everyone has secrets. The administration has something to hide. If he deleted the security footage... This isn't about food, Zoom, email, Canvas. This is about justice. He never stood a chance. They got the wrong guy. I mean, there's still someone out there. <laughs>